So we're talking fixing groups, of course, and in a previous film we showed you how to kind of uh, get to this uh, photograph and actually uh, change in uh, mum and baby on the left-hand side using the close clone stamp tool, and then we did a quicker version over on the right-hand side by just dragging and dropping. Uh, okay, so there's going to be times, though, we've kind of reconstructed the group fully, and now all of a sudden things don't kind of start to really uh, work as easy easily because this might be the only image that you've got fingers crossed it's not um, I've kind of chosen this one to make it a little bit more difficult and things so we've got a couple of issues here mum's eyes are closed first first of all and if we can let's try and do mum and baby on the right hand side here as well so from that other image that we had we've got a raised up jaw um, or in another photograph it's kind of a flattened face so I prefer this image anyway so let's go and steal um, just the mum's eye so let's go and click between the glasses in fact let's just go and I lied I'm gonna just go in and actually choose on the highlight of that eye there and let's go in create a new layer they're not flat so that's the only trouble we're gonna have here okay so if we make this just to begin with you can see we just edged in that bit of glasses just a touch and if I was to actually do the other eye as well we can see that they're kind of on a slant and in fact the glasses are much kind of smaller and so on with it alright so we just want to kind of work just on the eye yeah then we want to go in and basically let's make it a little bit smaller brush I'm just going to take the other part of the eye as well that's fine go and get our uh, other image again it's that one there sorry and once more clicking on the other eye going back into here um, I'm going to put it on the same um, layer there's no re reason in that now there's a slight slant different end anyway so I can kind of control the slant just a little bit and I need to increase the eyes just that touch more as well with it all right so just to make it just that little bit bigger so now from the distance we've got eyes open and everything else with it um, okay so that's fine now we just need to f try and fix this mother and child here bit of a nightmare job now okay but it, we've got to at least try it too because it could be the only image that is a great image the first things first is it good from here no it's not so I can just shut that down now um, this image though uh, is great with the baby at uh, the baby so I've got a couple of ways to do it I can e either go in and quickly just go and grab the kind of the lasso brush and just try and give me um, something to copy and paste across I think this will be good to actually see the size in anyway to be honest so let's just kind of go in here let's just reduce it down to about 50 percent and see if it's possible to use that image at all with it do you know what it's not bad in fact we can see see though that we've basically got um, uh, a difference here between obviously the shoulder and everything else with it and things really so let's kind of uh, put this a hundred percent in for a minute you can see all red already the negative that we've got in doing a, a copy is that I've missed the part of the blouse here that I really do need uh, and so it's kind of it's almost done but it's not done is it so let's just switch that one off for now let's go back onto the other layer control D to deselect uh, in fact, if I just use the lasso tool for a minute, press the shift key, we'll bring mum in more. Just add into this selection just that little bit more, in fact. Okay, so um, I'm going to copy that anyway. I'm going to drag it into here. Just going to switch it off, all right? Back onto there, though. Um, I'm just doing it in case that's, that's all s for the clone stamp tool so where are we going to go from well we know the edge of the chair is pretty good but mum's hip is pretty much stagnant here as well so if I kind of use that clone stamp tool from the hip even though we're looking after the baby let's create a new layer and just come back into mum's hip again let's get a big brush go in let's go quite drastic first because we can always use the mask to cover up now remember remember we've already kind of um, 
got a copy here if we need to. I'll bring that little girl's foot in there a little bit more. That's fine. Okay. I think we can get away with those there, you know. So now all we've got is a, a, a kind of a, a, a change in point here around this leg. So now I'll go in and B for brush and D for default next to put black on top. I want to see what the difference is with the foot. Okay, so now I'm kind of doing the black, getting rid of that part, bringing grandma back again. Might be able to just get away with this here, you know. There we go. So it's amazing when you start to um, play around. Let's put X on top again. Oop. Want to get rid of that arm there no matter what. So we'll have to finish this off now in a bit. Let's look at everything else that's going on though. I think we've got away with it here. Let's kind of just oop, X take that back down again that's fine we've only got one leg good sign got one hand good sign let's paint that back out there and now all I'm going to do in fact is uh, S for the clone stamp tool making the kind of the um, brush a little bit smaller selecting that point new layer and then just go in and kind of painting out what was there. So I think the only thing that we need to look at is basically if this is a bit too bright. So B for brush again, D to put that uh, 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 black on top. Let's put white on top. What's going on there? I don't know a minute. It's a bit strange. So we'll just go back to where we were and all I'm going to do now is basically go and clone a little bit of this that is here and I wanted to put it there okay so if I just kind of just go in now and just make a little bit of a selection of the arm yeah I'm gonna have um, clone stamp tool alt key just in here new layer small let's just go in there and just do that because there's tones I don't want to just cop, uh, copy it from one part as if uh, everything's in the way with it let's go in now smaller brush just needs a little bit of work on there that's all that is to actually tone that in and probably just drag in that opacity down is going to be enough in fact it is great so uh, with that uh, with that done of course all we've got to do then is actually fix fix our background so uh, what are we going to do remember remember uh, once this is done if we're in doubt we'd save it as a working file so you just add the kind of space and then a W on the end that saves the PST once this is done now I can uh, layer and flatten image I'm going to control J to basically uh, duplicate that image as well. Let's go in with the light. In fact, let me just work that quicker. Work in the crop tool first. And I'm just going to straighten it off. Straighten there. Less height, less black there. And we don't really need to do that part much at all. Gives us good compositional space though then. Then I just need to come uh, control J that we'll clean this up first, of course, just by control L for the le levels. It's a destruction. Um, uh, that means we're getting rid of pixels or getting rid of information in pixels, but that's OK. Now I'm just going to go back into my mask and B for brush, D for default. Next to put black on top again. This is we're going to get all our contrast colors back that we just lost by 
uh, doing such a severe fix on the white because obviously we're trying to fix the white we are let's make sure it's all clean that's pretty much it did I miss anything just double check it don't think I did that's great so F2 to this one now control J uh, so we're gonna just control J it and then we're gonna go and uh, fill in with a new layer just gonna go and choose a white just there pressing OK and filling that in putting that below yep and then all all I've got to do here in fact I didn't fill it with white there we go uh, all I've got to do here now is actually in the masking once more we've already got the brush uh, um, select uh, selected on here just going in and 100% shrink that brush down just a little bit uh, remember because this is technically the same color I just chose I could just go in with the lasso tool and select around the image Oop, wrong button select around the image here and just hit the uh, delete with it if that's what I want to do but that's obviously going to show it or I can actually fill it um, but again be better for us to uh, use that kind of um, masking technique in case we kind of lose some or don't lose enough uh, let me just deselect that we'll go and clean that part now in a minute clean that part there as well so in that case F2 control J control L clean the white again on here pressing OK back to my mask So there's a consistency of technique, isn't there, all the way. It's kind of, okay, so if I'm going to delete information that I want to keep, then basically don't worry about about it. Just have a, a method to actually bring it back, and then pretty much we're done. So there we go. We've got the family all done, ready for the wall.